All right, guys, welcome back to WebJera. So in the previous one, we set up this, uh, you know, app, Firebase app. And then we also created some pages, uh, which also has a login page now. So we're going to work on this. Uh, before that, we will have to create an initialization file for Firebase. So that we're going to do now in the source, I'm going to create something called Firebase.js. Okay, so now I'll import Firebase from Firebase app, Firebase slash app, and also import Firebase auth. Now we'll get this initialization. Only this part is what we need. Uh, we might also need this. Okay. Now we'll call this const, we'll make it as constant. Now we'll export few things, export auth, constant app, export constant auth equals firebase dot auth. And we'll have another one, export constant uh, provider. In this case, it is Google provider. false new firebase dot auth dot google auth provider all right yep this should be it this is the initialization file wherever we want firebase we'll call this and that will initialize it there so this way you know it won't be run everywhere on the app so some people like to call it in uh, layout but that will make the app heavy. Uh, it's better to you know call it wherever it is uh, completely necessary. Now going to login, we can have a script tag here. We can import that Firebase uh, we can import those constant that we just exported. Uh, one is auth and the one was uh, Google provider from uh, firebase.js okay now uh, we can also check whether it is running properly uh, I'll just have auth and see if that works okay uh, it says yep so it looks like it is working uh, I will also con go to the console here now one thing is we may have to enable uh, some of the you know some of the providers that we are going to use uh, in this one I'm going to use Google provider so I will have to enable that so you have these many options to log in so to authenticate I'm going to use this uh, support use something uh, save And we'll also have to whitelist the domains that we're going to use. Uh, that is, you know, this localhost is already there with default type. I will not do anything here. So let's get back. Uh, we are getting this auth, so we don't have to do anything. Now we'll have a button here called uh, login uh, using Google or something. And on clicking this, we have to run a function, something like login. Now login is a, could be an asynchronous, yes, it will be an asynchronous function. And what it does is uh, uh, once, once it is run, we'll have auth dot sign in with popup. Now this is good that you know it has so many options to I mean, it shows all the options to select from and then we have to you know pass the provider here so that's google provider right now i'll make this const response equals and then await and then if it is await we have to make it asynchronous function and then i'll log out this uh, and see if we are getting this user object once we do that now this may not always succeed we'll have try here 
tries everything that succeeds and catches any error and then uh, we can console that error here error error okay so uh, um, this should uh, what should happen is when we click on the login you know it should open up a uh, um, pop-up and then it should log us in okay now let's go to the browser here it's showing twice this happens i'm not sure why uh, i will click on login using google okay it did open a nice okay so i will you can also use another account i will click on this all right it looks like i'm logged in i'll see the console because i logged in the user yeah i'm getting a lot of things here yeah so there are a few things uh, that i can recognize all right so i'll just uh, try to so i'll try to save it in a, a store so in the next one i'll show you how we can store this value of user in a store and we can use it in other you know in many of these conditional cases